Hello friends, it's Nick reading mean comments time. I know, we all enjoy these videos. Uh, what's, what are these videos about? Well, <laughs> one of the, shall we say, advantages of having a YouTube channel is that you get pretty much instant feedback about what people think about you. You post a video, someone says, this guy's a dick. <laughs> You're left under no delusion how people see you. Uh, but luckily most people write nice things and every now and then someone writes something that's a little meaner or a little funnier and I take a little screenshot of it, put it in a folder and once there's enough uh, of those comments, I make a video. And here we are today, making a video on comments. But first, let's talk about t-shirts. Um, for the last few years, I've had my own shop. That is, I do things differently than other YouTube channels. I had my own in-house shop where I printed my own t-shirts, sent them out, and stamps and towels and other things. Uh, and that was very nice. And that was a, a way of connecting with you guys and um, being a little more personal. That is, I'd write a personal note, put a sticker in there, but there were some downsides <laughs> to doing it this way. It was a huge amount of time for me and I could never have enough of the right sizes and stocks or colors or styles and people always, Nick, why don't you have this size? Why don't you have this style? Why don't you da, 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 da. And so it's just impossible. And as I drop designs, I have to add new designs and people miss the old designs, it's just, it just didn't work very well. So I've closed that shop and I'm doing things the more traditional YouTube way. So if you look down the bottom of this channel, you can see you can actually buy my t-shirts through Spring now, which is how most other YouTube YouTubers do it. Uh, the difference being as other YouTubers do their logos, you know, the straight pipes or engineering explained. I don't get it. I don't get that. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't even <laughs> wear a Nick Murray YouTube channel t-shirt, <laughs> let alone ask you guys to do that. It's very, I don't know, kind of self-centered. Anyway, uh, so my t-shirts, uh, as you probably all know, are just silly sayings that I come up with. Um, and yeah, they, they sell really well. You guys, I, I see them in the wild quite often. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool that you guys buy my t-shirts and enjoy them. Um, and, and I'm pleased that I've been able to offer that service. So now, the advantage of doing it this way, while it's not as personal anymore, is that I can have every, every design I've ever had in every size and every color and, and whatnot. So hopefully, and, and it should be cheaper and faster shipping. So a lot of good, hopefully a lot of good, but I haven't tried this yet, so this is what I'm asking. Could somebody, <laughs> one or two of you watching this, go and buy a couple and then give me a, some feedback on how it went? You know, did it, was the service fast? Was t-shirt high quality? You know, did you find the color you wanted? Or if there's a, a style, like if you want a hoodie or a long sleeve tee or a cup or something, let me know and I can add it to the shop. I didn't want to overwhelm the shop. I just wanted to add the popular designs that I've had um, up till now on there, give them a try. Like the solid five out of 10, I've redesigned that slightly so that it's easier to read. Um, that's my most popular t-shirt. I think I've sold like 15,000 of those t-shirts. It's, it's, it's been really, you see them, <laughs> I see them a lot in, in the wild, I say. It Burns When I Pee is my favorite personal t-shirt. I wear this whenever I travel, it upsets people. And I've added a couple of new designs. Uh, the Senior Juvenile Delinquent um, is a new design I'm gonna try out. And uh, Aspiring to Mediocrity <laughs> is another design I'm putting on there. Uh, I'm gonna add a few of the older designs on as well. So yeah, if there's anything you guys want or miss, any of the old designs you'd really like to see or sizes or different shapes, let me know. But yeah, as I said, please, somebody, some of you, go and buy a couple for me. Write back to me on my email address here how it went. Uh, give me any feedback. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Hopefully this is a, a better way to get my silly designs out to you. Anyway, on to the main show, which is reading some uh, feedback from my delightful viewers. And in a change of pace, I'm going to read something nice. Because most of the comments that you guys make on my YouTube um, channel are very positive. So I wanted to start with a positive one to show that I do get positive uh, feedback. And the first one is from Roz, who writes, Just today, found your channel. Not really interested in cars, got to say. Long as something gets me from A to B, I'm happy. What a lovely man you are. I could listen to your New Zealand voice all day long. Thank you, Roz. That's very kind of you to say. All right, <laughs> on to what we're really here for. The first one is from Sebastian, who writes, Hey, Nick, wondering if you'd like to marry my older sister? She's not particularly smart, attractive, or has her shit together in any way. 
But I thought of you because she's kind of desperate. <laughs> well, Sebastian, you certainly sell her. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'm looking for attractive or smart or have their shit together or a combination of the three. But to have none of those things, I mean, she sounds delightful. <laughs> Roll her on over, my friend. Next from Jimmy, who writes, Nick, you are awesome. Just kidding, you're an ass. Now my GTS McCown feels gutless thanks to you. My wife has also completely lost interest in me sexually, but that might be unrelated. <laughs> I don't think it is, my friend Jimmy. Um, you're not the first person to point out that <laughs> the opposite sex has completely lost interest in them just because they own a GTS Porsche. Uh, yeah, I need to do more research into this, but I think there's definitely <laughs> a connection. Yeah, because uh, the fairer sex, the other sex, females and sometimes males, they can spot a model that has got no substance. It's just a bit of fluff and that's really what you know a lot of the GTS 911s and Macans particularly are. They're just lacking substance. They're just a bunch of options on an S. So yeah, they know when you're wasting money on, on fluff. Uh, and so of course they're going to lose interest in you sexually. I'd say sell that car and get an S. You'll be back in the sack my friend. <laughs> Next comment is from Tommy L. Garage, fellow YouTuber that lives down in New Jersey, not far from me. Good guy. Uh, he writes, uh, GTS gets all the girls at the club though. <laughs> Tommy, maybe in New Jersey? I don't think so though. I think, imagine walking through a club going, hmm. <laughs> I have a Porsche GTS. <laughs> it would close legs faster than a steaming case of gonorrhea, I think. Mm. The GTS models and Porsche cars in general, any woman that's interested in you because you have a Porsche mm, should be avoided, I think, anyway. Yeah. Yep, poor old GTS owners, they just don't get any. Uh, next, Donald writes, why has YouTube recommended I watch some Australian talk about a stupid Porsche? I drive an old Toyota. I could give a toss about Porsche drivers. <laughs> you and me both, my friend. <laughs> why did I watch the whole video? And why is there a gorilla? <laughs> I'm so confused, FML. Ah. Well, Donald, rookie mistake right there for a start. <laughs> you shouldn't have watched the whole video. You're just proving the Porsche logarithm correct in it's suggesting my videos to you. And now you've watched the whole video, it's going to go, oh my God, he loves this guy. And you're just going to get served with more Nick Murray videos. I'm sorry, you've jumped down a rabbit hole now, my friend. You're going to be forced to watch me, stupid Porsches and gorillas from now on. Eddie writes, fish flavored nipple paste. You know what I'm talking about, Nick. <laughs> Eddie, I am pleased to say I have no idea what you're talking about and I'm not going to Google it because I'm a little afraid of what the results would be. <laughs> Jabbar writes, Nick, you are the pubic hair in my Olive Garden chicken soup. <laughs> a little too salty, but I'll be back for more. Oh, I, appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that, Jabbar, both that you'll be back for more me or Olive Garden chicken soup. Anyway, regardless, thank you, my friend. Finally today, Randy writes, Nick, drinking concentrated Clorox. I would like, share, and subscribe to that video. <laughs> Randy, as long as I know what it's going to take, what it's going to take you to get you to subscribe, I'm willing to jump in there. Where is my Clorox? Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you, friends. Thank you for any of you that are going to go buy a couple of my t-shirts to test out the system. Remember to give me the feedback. That'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.